everyone! Welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today my hair looks so dreadful. It is so flippin' frizzy. It's been frizzy for like a week or so. I swear it went from like 50 to 90. <laughs> it's crazy weather here. Anyways, you're not here to, to learn about the weather. <laughs> um, today I'm doing a tag. Gylene from Gylene325 tag me and a bunch of other people in a video and the um the theme of the tag is youtubing youtubers and stamping something like that so it's pretty fun um i love doing tag videos they're they're fun nice kind of ways to you know kind of get to know us so that's kind of really fun i will link her video in the description box below in anyone else's videos that I come across from that will be linked when I get them. I um, tagged, uh, I reached out and tagged a few people. So I can tell you that um, Peeny Polishes um, is going to join in on us. Baby Girl Nails is going to join in on this. Uh, Girly Nails 66, I think she said she was going to join in on this. Rosanna Serena said she was going to join in. And I invited Pumpkin's Nail Station. She's brand new to YouTube, and I hope she'll join us too. So if anyone else wants to join me, that's great. Um, just, um, you know, comment in the description box below um, when you put up your video, and I'll add you to my description box too. Um, I will put the links to um, the ones that I did tag. They're, I'll put their links to their... Um, their YouTube channels in the description box below. They all have great nail YouTube channels and I really enjoy watching them and I hope you guys will too and that you will subscribe to them. And I'm really excited guys that I have so many lovely subscribers right now. So I'm really, really closing in on my goal. <laughs> so that's really awesome. Um, anyways, I guess let's just jump right into the questions. Um, the questions will be in the description box below in case anybody wants to join in and, um, the questions will be down in the description box below and what you can use and go, let's get started. Okay. Let's get into the questions. When did you first start stamping? It was about two years ago. Number two, how did that go? Not too well. <laughs> uh, the stamping plates I got had a clear, uh, clear film over them, so I didn't realize that there was anything over the front of it, and I didn't remove it, so the stamping didn't come out, so that was like a huge fail. It took me a while to figure out that there was a film on it. Watch lots of videos, though. And then number three is, how long did it take you to get a successful Manny done? Well, the, when I purchased some really good plates and started using some stamping polishes, that's when I got a successful Manny done. So it was after I purchased my, um, Bundle Monster. This was my first Bundle Monster set. It's my, not my first stamping set, but this is the first Bundle Monster set to get me my first successful Manny. Um, so that's, that's what I used. And I'll show you a picture right here. Number five is, oh, number four is, how and when did you decide to start doing it on YouTube? Well, I had started doing nail art on YouTube after watching, like, first swatch videos and then a bunch of nail art um, videos, I decided to try nail art on YouTube. My friend kept saying, hey, you should do YouTube, whatever. <laughs> so I was like, okay. So um, that's how I started um, doing nail art in YouTube. And as soon as I could get the stamping down pat, that's when I um, started doing it on YouTube. So I think it was like May of 2016 is maybe one of my first um, stamping videos. And that would go with the picture that I showed you. Number five, what was your first plates? So these right here, these were my first plates. 
Um, there was a set, I think there were five or six of them, but the other ones I can't get my hands on right now. They're in one of these cases and I'm not just sure which one. So I found three of them together. So these are super thin, not very, um, well etched. And then I purchased these at the same time, all off of eBay. I purchased these because I like Louis Vuitton and obviously Gucci, because my dog is named Gucci. And uh, I purchased these stampers to go along with it, which this one obviously you can't even use. And um, this one's just kind of sucky too. It's not the greatest. Number six, what stamping polish did you use? When I very first tried it, I didn't use a stamping polish. I tried it with um, Sally Hansen Insta Dry because I had seen somebody on YouTube do that, and I tried Essence, and neither of those worked for me. I, I couldn't get them to work for me. It was horrible. So um, it wasn't until let's see, it wasn't until I got and my actual stamping polish, which is number seven, what was your first actual stamping polishes that I could actually get a, a good stamping image. And my first actual stamping polishes were Bundle Monsters. I think they were a creative set one and two for their first generation. Basically, I didn't really care for any of them. They're not pigmented enough. Um, they don't work well. I haven't really used hardly any of them. Um, I used the black. The Noir black was good. Um, Angelic white sucked. Um, the Amethyst was really great. I still love the Amethyst. Um, you know, I, and since then I got the Bam white and the straight up black, which I don't like the straight up black. So, and I found something better that I even like better than Bam White. So, I'm really not using Bundle Monster polishes anymore, stamping polishes. And then, what was your first stamper? So, these were my first stampers, bought together. They suck. <laughs> um, number nine, do you own any brand's entire collection of plates or stamping polishes? No, I do not. Um, number, I'm kind of close, I think, with Twinkle T. I think she's got three collections and I've got two of them, two full collections. So I don't have the third one. Um, number 10, you can only use one brand of stamping polish from now on. What do you use? I would have to say Hit the Bottle because Hit the Bottle has neons. They have a really nice pastel set. They've got um, shimmery polishes. They, they just have a lot, huge um, selection of stamping polishes and colors, and they work really well over dark um, polishes. So if I could only ever buy one stamping polish brand, it would definitely be Hit the Bottle. Question 11 is same question about plates. I can only have one brand, brand of plates. Which one would I get? It's a really hard decision because I love Lena and I love Uber Chic. But if I had, had, had to choose, I guess I would choose Lena. Um, I, I love Lena a lot. They're, they're great, great plates. I have a whole bunch of them. Um, and I really love them. The only thing is that they always have these full images and then some little images. So they have no plates that are just um, bigger images like this. So I, I guess I would pick Lena and then probably email her to death <laughs> saying, please put, you know, more, you know, single images on the plates. Oh, so, but yeah, I guess I would have to go with Lena. And so number 12, same question about stampers. That's really a hard question because I love my Uber Chic Sticky Stamper and my favorite clear stamper is a Queen. So I guess I would have to perch, I would have to, would have to want to get a, um, a brand that has a good clear and a good sticky. So I think... Bundle Monster has a sticky, and Bundle One Monster was my first nice um, clear one that actually worked. I know this one's harder and it's not as sticky as the Queen, but I actually I've gotten um, 
I've gotten good results with it. So I guess if I could only pick one, I would I would guess I would go with Bundle Monster and just hope maybe they came out with a stickier, clear one. <laughs> So that's it for the questions. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.